What's going on guys? We're back here with another one showing you how to do a just a regular fade. Skin fade. Not taking anything off the top. Right here. Finally got it. Got the, the five zero. I'm telling you this thing is works wonders. It gets right down as far as the trimmer goes. And it's not gonna burn out your trimmer motor. So uh, if you don't have one, I suggest you pick that up. Right here, I'm using the Andy's Masters. I got the clip open, hitting the bed first and going right into the fade with it. Going about a half an inch. Those half an inch guidelines, I'm telling you, use them. It's gonna make the blend look a lot more stretched out and better. So I'm just going over, I'm, as you can see, I'm adjusting the lever as I go. I mess with it. Sometimes I hit it like I have it completely closed to get the bottom line out first, and sometimes I work top to bottom. It's whatever you feel more comfortable with. Now I have the one guard on, going another half an inch above that guideline. Flicking out, always not digging in, but coming off of the head, following the contour of it. And this is the purple guard, and that's the zero. So that's going to blend out that line from the open masters to the one. And you play with that level, keep flicking this and that. As you can see, and that blend looking pretty good already. Now I'm just going touching up a little bit. I suggest that you should save your touch up for the end because when you're cutting and you're looking at the same spot over and over, you're gonna think it looks good and then your eyes play tricks on you. Always use the mirror. Here's the two guard, just going up with it. That was open, now I'm hitting it with the closed. And just going back with the one and a half, doing a little bit of touch up. You'll see me at the end of the video even go back again and touch up more like... You just, you'll see things as you go. Now I'm just edging the beard up a little bit, lathering it up. I don't hit the the beard with the trimmer pop because I feel if he wants it natural like my client does here that's just gonna make it look unnatural and there you go that sharp line and this particular the, this particular client he has a very hard front hairline it's a little receding so you don't ever want to push it back the side right here that I'm not the other side where my finger is that's the hard side, so you don't touch that side. You work on the other side and then match it as much as you can. It's not going to get perfect. Or it's going to look like a goof in two days when it's growing back. So just very lightly. It's not going to be the cleanest. It's not going to look super clean, but I mean, I've been cutting this guy for over six, seven years now. Doing something right. Now you just go back, whack it with the razor, get that sharp line. Yes, I uh, cut my hand pretty good yesterday. That's why I got that wrapper around it. Because the bandit kept falling off. And this is what I'm talking about. See, I got the no blade on just going at it. Now's the one on. Got the one on there. Just touching up, you know. You're going to see some dark spots. Flick them out. Go back. And this is the final product. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you hit that like button if it helps you out at all. And right here, do it. We out here. Peace.